All right, this is so sad. This is part six, I think, of this video. So this is ridiculously long at this point. Um, but are we anywhere near done this? Oh, is this like the last problem? The last uh, I should have just finished it, shouldn't I? Yeah. Oh, well, it was a long video. All right, last problem. Yay. Yay. Solve the following. This is what I have to deal with every day. <laughs> okay, solve the following inequalities and place the answer in interval notation. All right, so this is similar to what we just did, I guess, yeah? Um, yeah, so let's just rock this. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Obviously, what am I going to do first? Subtract three. Yes, clearly we will subtract three from both sides. Okay, so we get zero over there. Now we will have x to the fourth power plus 7x to the third power. 12x squared minus 4x minus 19 is greater than zero. Okay, um, did you guys put this in your calculator and were there any zeros in the list? There are? Okay, so um, I'm typing this into the uh, table function of the calculator and I could have done this on my TI-30 um, X, X, just as easily but um, just in case I had to graph it I went ahead and put it in the TI-84 so anyway look the point is type it into a calculator look at the table okay and um, so I'm scrolling up I'm looking for zeros on the Y side well there's one in between there but we can't see it it's there though there's another one right there but we can't see it are there any more is that it Okay, so there were none to be seen. Agreed? Did you what? find one? Shh, boys, boys, boys. <laughs> All right, so there were no zeros, so I'm going to the, to the graph. Okay, so I'm seeing uh, two possible zeros right here. So I'm going to hit um, second trace, five for intersection. I'm going to hit my up arrow so I can get on the x-axis. I'm going to go over to the first one. And I'm going to hit enter, enter, enter. OK, so negative 4.13 is my first one. And then I'm going to look for the second one. Again, second trace 5, up arrow to get on the x-axis. I'm going to get over to the second one. How do you do that, brother? And I'm going to hit enter, enter, enter. OK, so I have 1.06 for the second one. OK, so these are my two zeros. Um, so let's go ahead and do the graph. Uh, I'm going to do this one by the testing value method. Okay, test points. So um, as I do this graph, so I have a, a zero at negative 4.13. Okay, and then I guess we'll have zero in here somewhere. And then I have a zero at 1.06. Okay, so those are the only two zeros I have. This is greater than, so I'm going to leave these as open circles. Okay, so open circle, open circle. So these two zeros separate the number line into three zones. Hold on. We've got the uh, we've got the yellow zone, and we got the green zone. And we got the pink zone. All right, so I'm going to need a test value from each one of these zones. Mm. 
Okay, from the yellow zone, I think I'll do negative five. From the green zone, I'll choose zero. And from the red zone, I'll choose two. So I'm gonna check each one of these values. Um, now I'm just gonna use the calculator to evaluate these, especially since I already have them all typed in. Okay, so look at the table. And uh, so my first value, I think, was at what, negative five? I already forgot, negative five. So at negative five, the value is 51. Okay, so I've got 51. And the question is, is that greater than zero? Greater than zero. And obviously, yes, 51 is greater than zero. That means um, the yellow values are solutions. So I will show that the yellow values are solutions by drawing this arrow in the yellow zone. All right, now I'm gonna look at zero and I can just check it on the calculator. So the value at zero is negative 19. Okay, so I've got negative 19. And again, the question is, is that greater than zero? And clearly, no, negative 19 is not greater than zero. That means the green zone doesn't have solutions. All right, so we'll just leave that blank. Um, and then I'll look at the value at two. Okay, so I'll look at two. The value at two is 93. Okay, so 93. And again, the question is, is that greater than zero? Yes, it is. So that means all of the pink values are solutions. And we'll show that by drawing an arrow. All right, because all of these are solutions. So this is the graph of the solution set. Um, we just need to finish it off with some interval notation. So um, for this branch, that's negative infinity to negative 4.13. Okay, and we'll use round parentheses um, because it's an open circle. We're not including the endpoint because that's where it's equal to zero, not greater than. And for this branch, we have 1.06 to infinity. And don't forget your union symbol between them when you have uh, more than one interval as part of your solution set. Okay, so that's it. This is the answer. And that is the end of this lesson. And so that's the end of this video. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Good luck on the test. Please make sure that you can do every problem on this test by yourself. So if you find yourself copying off of me as uh, I do the problems, that means you don't really know it. So make sure you go back and do these problems on your own.